Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. And here we have the Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio on a 70 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside. From the outside, you can see it's a four door car with tinted windows and alloy wheels. We're gonna start off inside the boot area, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have those four tailpipes. Uh, great sounding exhaust on this car as well. Uh, reversing sensors, as you can see, and plenty of boot space, which you can increase by folding down those rear seats, should you wish to do so. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in, and as I mentioned, we'll run through some of the controls. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, you can see, firstly, the alloy wheels are all in pristine condition, as is the bodywork the whole way around, and it's a great looking car as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and we've got the oil uh, or the coolant temperature gauge. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the centre, you can see the total miles of this car. They are only 26,659, and we have our trip computer in that section as well, of course. If we back out to the steering wheel, the first two things you'll probably notice, uh, besides these massive uh, paddles here for changing up and down a gear, uh, is also the start and stop button for the engine. So just make sure the key is in the car with you. Hit this button to start and stop the engine with our cruise control just here our phone and stereo controls on the uh, right-hand side as well. Over in the center, you'll find the main screen itself. We're on the main menu at the moment. The movement that you see me making on the screen right now is being done uh, using this dial just here. You can go back to the main menu from there, but the dial will rotate. It'll push down to enter any one of those menus that you want to go into. Uh, for example, you can enter your satellite navigation menu. Uh, you can see there a nice clear color display we can access those menus uh, down the left-hand side there. Uh, we have our phone, of course, and then radio and media. So we've got DAB, AM and FM radio. Going to the media section is where you will listen to your own music. Uh, nothing is connected at the moment. You've got Bluetooth audio. Uh, so uh, once you connect up your phone, uh, there'll be then many ways in which you can listen to your music. On top of all of that, this car has got, uh, to go along with the parking sensors, a full uh, reversing camera, uh, colour camera with guidelines to show you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image shown on the screen. Below that we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger and driver temperature, you can increase and of course decrease the fan speed from there. Uh, you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed for passenger and driver. When you're happy with those settings, air conditioning's off or back on again, or hit auto, the car will now take full control for you to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. You can manually override that by making any adjustment. You see auto has now gone off. We have a heated passenger and driver seat, both with three separate heat settings on each. USB input, uh, you can close this over, of course, otherwise you can see we have two cup holders, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, main volume for the stereo, the dial I went through just a moment ago, and on here, you can change uh, the driver settings for the car. So. Uh, Everyday driving would be in N for natural, neutral. We have uh, all weather, we have dynamic, and in this car, we've also got race as well. The last thing I wanted to mention is the paperwork we hold for the car. So in the envelope here, we have the spare key, so two keys in total. We have the V5 registration document, as you can see, showing that it's a one owner car from you. And then the service book, pre-delivery inspection just there, and then services in 21, 22, and 23, all uh, with main dealer. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.